So it's me, your little boy, K. Samson. You know, I have some reason to give you today why God allow you not to fit in with people. You know, this is something that you need to adequately would understand that everything that you go through as a choosing is for your own good. It's not for God good. It, God is already good in His own ways. He's a perfect and a gentle and a marvelous in His all His ways doing. So the reason why God don't allow you to fit in with garbages is because of the fact that He wants you to be their leader. Yes. People say, "Why? Well, how can I be a leader to my enemy? The truth is that you have to understand that even when Saul was fighting David, he is already aware that David is already a leader, even before the battle started. So what does that mean is that your enemy, they fight you, they do all kinds of things, they try to make you fit in with them, and God refused to allow you to fit in with them because you are called to be a leader, not to be a, a, what, a sheep. <laughs> yes, because a leader cannot be the sheep. It's a what? It's a sheep taker. Is the leader. So that is why you need to understand that Jesus said to them, He said, "I know my sheep. Who are the sheep of Christ? The leaders." He said, "He selected them among that when he lived, they do, they stand on on his word, on his feet, they stand as him." To build the church that the gate of hell will not do it, will not prevail. So you are the leader. God select you to be the leader. It may look funny, but that is just the pure truth. Another reason why God will not or God don't allow you to fit in with these garbages is because of the fact that all men are called, but few are choosing. <laughs> So people say, which kind of word is this? Where this one is getting all these things from? The truth is that all men are called. All women are called. Everybody are called for different purposes. But only few are choosing for greatness. Think about it. Let's move to the book of Esther. The Bible makes us to understand that there was a woman called Esther. Among them, he is, she is a Jew. And they still have a brethren. And he become, she became the leader. There was also a man who was called. Herman was called. It is any position you obtain on earth, it is by the grace of God. So Herman was called in the palace. He ruled in the palace. He had some position he occupied. But positions are greater than position. That is why even in your difficult moment, those whom you think they are better than you may be fighting you because they know that you are not the kind of person that they can intimidate. They know that you are not the kind of person that they can withstand. They may be doing better than you now, but they know that in future to come, you will outstand and you will become their leader. So Herman understand the 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 how like the 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 Babylonica or the Babylonica what uh, foundation or the, the geography of the Jews. He understand their background. He understand their history, their, their, what, their, their system of living that they are called as a leader. That is where Jesus come from. That is where Nazareth come from. That is where all great men in the history come from. He understand it. So in order for him to make them look less of themselves, not to be able to accomplish his, their purpose, he decided to fight them and destroy them. But even in that day, what in the, even in that day, missed, in, in that day, difficult time, in that uh, you, you know um, moment of pain and what and all kinds of sorrow, they are still what the leader. So you have to understand that out of your belly, God have called you to be different. So you don't fit in because God have a special purpose for you. God have a special calling. He called you out of them. That's why he said it to Ezekiel. He said, before you were born, I selected you. Not there are many people who were born at the same day. There were many people who were born. He said, among Israel, I select you. I take you for a great purpose to do to win and lead my sheep. So you are called for a greater purpose that is why you cannot fit in with them and another reason why god will not allow you to fit in is because he don't want them to damage what he have given to you because all think about it this is my garment for work my shirt for work if i decide to walk now maybe we went out you know it's already rain we went out and walk in the bush and all those stuff and i decide to 
take this cloth and join it with my other cloth that is already what that is already clean and and hang in some part you got to understand that it will take some hours and some days it will pollute others meaning that god don't want you to fit in with them is because he don't want them to pollute the grace and anointing he give to you <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That is why if you find it difficult to fit in with people, don't look like God is punishing you or God is trying to destroy you or God is trying to reject you. It's because of the fact that you have a higher call that God don't want people around you to do, to destroy. Because you have a greater purpose. There is something in you that is mightier than what you can think of. So God called you for a what for a greater mission. So you don't want them to pollute it. In order for him not allow them to pollute it, he needs to separate you among the sheep. You know what I'm saying? Remember, bless me. God bless you.